Welcome everyone. We are doing an extreme deep cleaning today. I hope you are ready to get some things done or just sit back and relax. Either way, I am glad you are here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video and let's get started. Welcome. I am so glad you are here today. We are going to be doing a deep clean. And as you notice, this is not my house. This is actually a friend of mine's house and she is another large family mom. And she asked if I would be willing to come and help her out. Just do a really good deep clean for her. Just because with small littles and five of them, it definitely can take the back seat for a while. And I was more than happy to help. So I'm coming in here and starting small. So the whole house needed to be deep cleaned. But when I walked in, I was immediately overwhelmed, not by the mess, but just by the little things. Because when you have kids, you've got a lot of little things everywhere, as we all can attest to that. So I decided to start on the small area first and went into her living room and I wanted to accomplish one task. When you're feeling overwhelmed, you want to do one small thing. It can be folding the blankets, fluffing the pillows. It could be cleaning off the countertops, whatever that may be for you. It will genuinely help you get to the next task. I knew I had some deep cleaning to get to. So I wanted to do to do this first and just check it off my list. That always helps me get to the next thing. I also wanted to fluff her couch and vacuum it because she doesn't have a rug in here. But if you want to change the air and the environment in the room, a noticeable difference is vacuuming. I generally like to stop, start from top to bottom, but like I had mentioned, I just wasn't there mentally to do that in this home. So I did what I did and then I wanted to come and do over here on the fans. I wasn't too worried about it because they are not directly over the couch. So I knew the couch would stay nice and clean and I wasn't dusting it per se, but I was just vacuuming it all off and getting it right in there. So a lot did not get in the air. If you have a vacuum that can reach your fan, I always say this is the way to go. I have seen some other um, ways to do it with a pillowcase. I think that's also really good. You don't want to get this back in the air. Also, if you suffer from respiratory issues, um, I personally have asthma. You want to be really careful and make sure you are limiting what is getting out in the air because you don't want to be breathing that in. So I vacuumed it up. I was using her vacuum and wow. Oh my goodness, I have been spoiled with my plethora of vacuums. Let's just be honest. Um, this was not user friendly whatsoever, but it got the job done. And that just proves you don't have to have the fancy stuff to get the job done. But after I had cleaned it and got the dust off of it, I knew that it needed a good wipe down. So I just took a Clorox wipe and just started cleaning off all of the fans. She had given me a list after I had agreed to help her of the things that she just thought might be, you know, helpful to get deep cleaned. So I was actually like a little overwhelmed by the list as well. That isn't because it was too much. That's just because my, how my brain works sometimes. And so I know that about myself. And so I decided, okay. I'm going to write everything that she wanted to get done. And then I'm going to write down everything that I am doing. And then I released that pressure of marking everything off on the list that she had um, written. 
it, like I said, it wasn't because it was out of the ordinary or it was anything. It was just, I immediately got overwhelmed and I get overwhelmed by my own stuff. So it isn't um, reflective upon anybody, but I know this about myself. I've learned it. And so I am honoring how I feel and respond to situations. It could be different each and every time. But when I have that sort of response, I write down what needs to be done or the recommendation. And then I write down what I'm doing because I want to also appreciate and honor what I am doing. And I want you to do that as well. If you're making a to-do list and you know the windows gotta get clean, the sheets have to get washed, you know, the toilets need to be clean. These are examples. Write that down on your list to do. And then on the other side, I want you to write down the things that you have done or are going to do. It can be things that you've already done. Get out of bed, brush your teeth, take a shower, um, put clothes in the hamper. It doesn't matter. When you do that, just the simple act of seeing what you've already done, it tricks the mind in feeling that you're being productive because you are. And sometimes the small medial tasks don't get recognized, but they need to. When I do to do to do list, I will often write, take a shower, do my hair, you know, put my makeup on, brush my teeth. And I cross those out. And there is something so powerful about crossing things out. You feel so good about yourself. And when you feel proud of yourself and like you've accomplished things, you are literally tricking your mind and wanting to continue to seek that reward. And so you will go and you will do the harder things. So that is what I did. I'm heading into her downstairs bathroom and we are gonna give this room a top to bottom deep clean. I'm gonna wipe everything down. I just used the Pink Stuff bathroom foam cleaner. You really don't need anything. If I'm being honest, for a sink that doesn't really have a lot going on, you don't really need things. Some soap and water does an amazing thing. And then I'm taking a Clorox wipe and wiping everything down. Reminder, when you're doing the spring cleaning or just, you know, every few months, you want to clean off your faux plants. The summer's calling The summer's calling If the kingdom is overthrown Meet me at the cornerstone I know that I can't be without you This bond is solid gold I am not a big fan of a lot of decor um, in the bathroom for multiple reasons, but they get really, really dusty and there's all kinds of things going on in here. But when you go to someone else's house to clean, it is not my place to judge or criticize or even to change how they decorate. 
and I say that because obviously she did a precious job like her house is just beautiful um, but I had to learn that when I used to clean houses back in the day if you're new here I started cleaning houses well okay I've cleaned my entire life it has unbeknownst to me been a way I have coped with stress I didn't know that as a young child I didn't know why at eight years old I was scrubbing tile floors with the toothbrush at 2 a.m had no clue at that point um, but I've always cleaned I've loved it it's been like a safe thing for me and I loved to declutter and organize so when I started like doing it quote unquote professionally when Isabella was an, an actually oh my gosh now I'm thinking about it I started doing it and getting paid for it when I was 19 years old okay then when she was born I went back into it then I went and got a daycare job. Then I went back into it after I got a divorce and I stayed with it until I got married with, to Chris. And then after Liam was born, I got back into it. So yeah, it's been a part of my life. So saying all of that, now that I'm older and wiser, which I'm thankful for, I have learned it is not your place to even suggest that someone changes their decor or anything. And I bring that up simply because, um, it is important that we all let people live and let live and that's even that's in real life if you're doing a job or you're helping someone out that is on the internet when you see someone doing something that you wouldn't do it's really really important that we do not feel the absolute urge to share our opinions suggestions or whatnot to others all the time um, unless you really genuinely think it's gonna help them, but telling someone that you don't like the way they clean or decorate or dress or this, that, and the other, that's not gonna do anybody any good. And I say that with love, but it has been something that I have had to learn over the years. And I'm thankful I have gotten to that place now, but I can just appreciate, I can go somewhere, I can watch something, I can see something and just appreciate what it is for what it is. Whether it works for me or not, I can just appreciate that for them. And I want to give you that encouragement. If you see things or experience things that really you just don't like, just simply because you don't like it, just take it in and move on. I'm going to be sharing some of my must-have cleaning products these are the things that i carry in my home all the time to make sure i get the cleaning i want done i feel like there's a lot of things out there and some of us might not really know what is best and this is what i think is best so that if you have granite or stone the method cleaner is amazing you can get that pretty much anywhere now the pink stuff i find is the best paste ever hands down and it is used for a plethora of things. The Sprayway Glass Cleaner gets my glass cleaner than anything else. Method Wood Cleaner has a very light scent. I love that. All of Scrub Daddy sponges, none of them are bad. I love them all. A safe razor to clean your glass cooktop or just to get some really like sticky stuff off, but a safe one. And then the Clorox, to Clorox Toilet Wands, I have to have. I think it's the best for cleaning my toilet and the Magic Eraser. But the name brand one, because the other ones crumbled in my hand. I'll also say I have to have my Tovar uh, mop. That's in my description box. That's what I use. And um, definitely Dawn Spray Wash or Dawn Dish Soap. Those aren't a must, but I love them. Giving the little rails here, I don't know why I said little, but giving the rails here, baseboards, door frames, doors, a wipe down makes such a difference. Before you even think you need to paint, just clean. So I'll start off with warm rag, soap and water. If it doesn't come off, I'll get something with a little more grip like this um, sponge, scrub daddy, whatever it's called. If that doesn't work, magic eraser. If that doesn't work, then you can consider painting. Always paint things like this, things that have really high traffic with a semi to high gloss, it will help it clean and stay clean a lot longer. So after doing that, I came over to this area, this is the hall tree, and organized what I could. Now, this isn't my stuff, so it's very hard to 
decipher where things go. When she had the list for me, it did not include anything like this. It didn't include rails. Um, and I'll show you what the list was and what I actually accomplished in a moment. But I really felt like, I guess, I don't know what it is about me. I could not do everything I had just done and then this look super cluttered. I could not do it. So I just organized it the best I possibly could. And then um, I did eventually reach out to her and ask her what to do with the top of everything. And you'll see that in a moment. But I wanted to at least organize it so I could wipe it down because this is another thing that is super high traffic. And it will really brighten up a space just by cleaning the walls and wiping things down. If you had a respirator or a mask on and you didn't want to hand dust every single little thing, one thing that I have done before, especially to like faux plants and things that are really intricate, is one of those air guns that you can get, I think, to clean the um, computer and keyboard. They work amazing. That's a little suggestion, but I would only do that if you had something protecting your mouth so you're not breathing that in and before you vacuum anything. Shine tonight up in the stars. So let me know in the comments below, how are you guys doing? So I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I feel like life can be an emotional roller coaster, um, especially I don't know what it is. Like for me, I think I do okay because I'm kind of in autopilot all day. But in the evenings, I get really emotional and I don't know why. Let me know if any of you all experience that as well. Um, I don't know what it is. I just get really weepy in the evenings um, my daughter actually asked me if she if if i got like that because she does as well so i know it's more common than i realize but let me know if y'all experience that and if you guys have had any explanation on as to why that is because i don't know um i get just really sentimental and emotional at, at nighttime but let me know how your week is going so um, i originally was posting consistently on thursdays and my schedule's always been all over the place but always recently it's been strict thursdays but um with christmas and then the, the kids on the break and then the whole car situation just so many other outside i don't know distractions and interferences I have not been able to, but I've gotten them out on Friday. So I've really been wanting to go back to my Thursday routine. And I just want to ask you all, when do you find yourself getting on YouTube? Is it when you get a notification that a video is up or do you just know? Because I know some creators are so great with being just super consistent with their day and their time. And then the, the viewer knows, you know, 10 o'clock on Tuesday. To, to be ready. And I want to be like that. It's hard for me in this season of my life, but I really want to be that disciplined and that consistent. So let me know. Do you go to YouTube when you get a notification that a video is up or do you just know when to be ready? And yeah, do you like Thursdays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Sundays, Saturday? 
Fridays? Let me know. Mondays, what do you like? Um, when do you find yourself reaching for the remote to watch YouTube? For me personally, um, I will not reach for YouTube until I need something. Um, if I need cleaning motivation or, you know, I like background noise when I'm working, those are the only times, but it's not like first thing in the morning I'll walk over to the TV and turn anything on. I generally don't watch much TV at all, but I know for some people that could be different. Like if you know you're going to get up and start cleaning at 10 a.m., maybe that's when you turn it on. So just want to know, just let me know in the comments below. This was a challenge, but it doesn't matter if something's a challenge, it's rarely impossible. So I made do with the best, the best way I could. And this is all I could do for the stairs. I did try to use the attachment and it was not happening. I could only use the crevice tool to just get in the crevices, as you see here. If you are due for a gift or you get gift cards, y'all know I love my gift cards, please, for your own enjoyment, get yourself a vacuum that you're able to easily clean stairs and crevices and have an extension wand to. It doesn't matter if it's cordless or corded. You want something that has a nice, at least three foot extension wand and with multiple attachments. You don't have to get super fancy, but let me tell you, those extension ones and attachments can really change the game. And that was my dilemma with this one. And it was back breaking after I got done this evening, my back was killing me. Um, so if you can, and let me just tell you something. I have multiple vacuums, I've used multiple vacuums go to Facebook Marketplace. If you want one of those, you want a Kirby, go to Facebook Marketplace, they're there. You want a rainbow, it's there. You want a Dyson or a Shark, it's there. I know that vacuums can be so crazy overpriced. So it's, it's de definitely a luxury. So that is my encouragement. So as I was vacuuming, I noticed it just wasn't working very well. So I cleaned out the bin, kind of like trial and error, cleaned out the bin, went back over there to see what was going on, couldn't figure it out, and then realized the um, filter was jam-packed. So I actually ended up washing it with warm soap and water, and then I took it upstairs into the dryer to get it dry so I could use it again. And that's when I had contacted her to see what I could do with the stuff up here. So I just took a plastic bin with her recommendation or with her approval, and she said, do what you gotta do, girl. So I took a bin and I just cleaned everything off of here and I'm gonna start wiping it down. If you have a space that's just overwhelming and cluttered and you don't know what to do, get a big old box or a bin and throw everything in it, clear off that shelf or whatever it is, and then go and sit down and go through each item with a plastic bag or another box, trash, you know, it's supposed to go into another room, donate. And when everything's like right there, confined in front of you, it will help you be able to knock it out super, super fast. Do it while you're watching a show or something. Because just having all of this clutter up here made the entryway so narrow and so, for me, overwhelming. Take it all off, put it in a bin or a basket, sort it out, and then do what you gotta do. It, for me, is the most efficient way to get that done and tackle such an overwhelming task. Let's go. 
cannot do a deep clean without pulling everything out and getting these baseboards. So that is what I'm doing. You see all of this fur here. And if you find that your home is just not smelling the way you want it to, you guys clean your baseboards, especially if you have carpets too, because odors get trapped in there and dust and all the things. And hair holds on to an odor as well. I have a house with two dogs, and two cats, and we are having to do this regularly. Um, but it also is just, it makes the air so much lighter. And you'll hear me talk about that a lot because there is something about walking into a clean space. It is like the room is lighter. And it is, it's so helpful for not only the way you feel, but it's like your mental health. I'm telling you, you will sleep better, concentrate better, be able to be more productive, feel better when your house is clutter free and cleaned up just tidy and if you you know are feeling overwhelmed just do one small task at a time but it was really important for me to really just give it my all for her because both parents are working full time they have five children i know all about that life and i honestly wish I would have loved, I would have loved if someone could have come and done this for me. Um, I didn't even ever think about it, but if somebody could have, I, I, it would have made such a difference. It would have taken a task that was looming and weighing on me, taking it off my shoulders so I can just enjoy the day a little bit more with the kiddos. So I was really thankful and happy I was able to do this for her. So I got about mm, three and a half hours of footage deep cleaning the house. It was really hard for me to walk away with rooms still not cleaned up. When I do something, I want to do every single bit, but I just didn't have the time for that. And she also didn't ask for that. I definitely went above and beyond what she asked for keeping in mind the things that she wanted but just really trying to take the extra step and just really you know bless her with my time and helping her out that's you know if we're not helping somebody or trying actively to make this world and our lives better i feel like we're wasting our time and sometimes we have to take a seat a back seat to our ego and just be willing to submit to helping others and i think that's so so important um i don't know there's something about it it's there's something about serving others that is so good for the soul you know um but I really wanted to do every room and they actually come back into town tomorrow and I've considered going back, but I just, I just don't know. I don't know, but I have a whole other video of everything I did. So this is the playroom. She didn't ask for me to even touch this room, but I had to because it was the first room when you walk into the house. So in next week's video, you will see me complete this room, more bathrooms, more walls, more floors. So another long video for cleaning motivation coming next week. So I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and make sure you get the notification bell. So you know, when I upload more videos and I just want to appreciate, tell you how much I appreciate you. And I know time is a precious commodity and that you spent it with me means the world. I hope you feel loved, worthy, and appreciated today because you are. And I am so happy to be spending this time with you. And I am looking forward to seeing you next week. Love y'all. Bye.